Hey there, it's Bobby Legs and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today I have an unboxing and first impressions of this watch here, the Vertex M100. Now, Vertex has had a very interesting history. Um, back in World War II, it was one of what it was called the Dirty Dozen, the 12 brands. The British uh, military had commissioned or the British government had commissioned to uh, make watches for their military. I think I got the story right on that. Uh, more more to come during the review of the video uh, but this is just an overview uh unboxing and first impressions now uh vertex um uh, fell victim to the course crisis right in the 70s like a lot of other brands and it has been resurrected recently with some uh, special editions here and i have one of them and uh, i'm very very excited uh, to show you guys so Let's uh, flip that camera around and um, and see what we got here. Okay, like I said in the intro, very excited to get this watch in for uh, a review, but this is the unboxing and the overview. You know, more like a first impressions actually. Uh, so excited that I actually bought it. So um, cool, right? Uh, got this very uh, cool, uh, tough uh, case. Uh, sort of looking thing here like a, one of those like pelican cases and I think you open yeah open it up like this and and there it is yeah um, watch uh, looks like some card information here and another strap a leather strap Ooh, with a quick release uh, very interesting red leather underneath that looks like almost like a pebbled uh, I also got this uh, vertex uh, NATO um, so nice uh, strap options for sure right out of the gate right um, very silky smooth kind of nylon here, not as rugged and tough as I'm normally used to with some of these NATOs. You have the the uh, vertex uh, on the buckle, labeled on the buckle here as well here. So nice touch. Uh, let's get this out of here nicely tucked in this case. And uh, on, on the watch is a rubber strap. Oh wow! Look at let's see. Look at this thing. I mean, like, look how legible this watch is. I completely love it. You know, for a field military watch, I mean, this is outstanding. Now, the price point on these you know, on the website you'll see are in the mid to high twos, and uh, which is at first blush, anyway, for me, and I'll just speak for myself. It sounds like a kind like a lot of money for like a this a military style field watch. Um, but I think, uh, you know, you'll be surprised about the amount of detail and finishing here. Not necessarily on the case finishing. I'm not talking about that. But the dial, I mean, look, it, it's hard to tell here. And I'll get some more macro shots uh, in the review. But these indices are fully loomed and they're, they're molded. I believe they're molded. They're not cut out. They're molded into the numbers and put on to the dial and it just really pops. I see you can kind of, kind of tell by the shadows there of the two, three, and four now um, that um, how much they stand on, on top and proud on the dial. And you also have this very nice small seconds at the six o'clock with uh, what appears to be, let me get my glasses off because I'm nearsighted here, <laughs> um, but a different type. I don't know if it's radio brushing, but again, we'll get some macro shots. The, the hands are, so nicely done, uh, nicely polished with a, hel a healthy application of loom. Vertex, uh, very crisp, uh, crisply printed on the dial and that arrow uh, signifying, I believe that's signifying the British military. Um, Swiss made, very, very cool. This leather strap is, is very, very, I mean, this uh, rubber strap is very supple and uh, I could just tell at the back, like very high quality. Look at that case back. Oh, that's that's really nice. You got a nice little relief there of the vertex. Um, very, very nice. Very thin here. Nice, nice size crown and aggressively knurled. Um, very nice winding action here. You could probably barely hear it, but um, it's a, it's good resistance. Let's. Um, set the time here a little bit here it's a little later uh so um yeah very 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 nice i believe this is also 100 meters water resistance let's get this on wrist um man uh i can't wait to 
do the review here and show some of the loom because I could tell right now that the loom is like just popping. Um, nah, that feels nice. That feels nice on wrist, man. The 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 case back is is feels very very flat and it's an easy and comfortable uh, fit for sure on my wrist. I, I, I believe this is a 40 millimeter case diameter. I'm guessing that lug to lug is around 48, maybe 49, and the thickness is around maybe 12 or just under. Oh, very nice touch with that military symbol there and the vertex here. Very nicely done. You know, again, a lot of, a lot of, you know, it's it's kind of pricey for for the genre of watch that is, but I could just tell by the the finishing and the feel that, um, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it. So anyway, guys, thanks for um, sitting in here with me with this opening uh, unboxing and uh, my first impressions. Uh, looking forward to doing the review and looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care. If my channel is new to you and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get updates when I upload new videos. I love making these videos and I hope you like them too. And also, if you want to support the channel, please buy me a cup of coffee. The link is in the description. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.